Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Matz. Welcome to today's Living Word. It comes from Psalm 119, verse 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Wow. As I was reading this portion of scripture, I found myself wondering, why are statutes plural and way singular? Why didn't the psalmist say, I shall keep them, the statutes, to the end, instead of, I shall keep it? Well, and the same thing happens in verse 35 of the psalm, only this time it concerns the commandments of God. But why does he do this? Well, the answer is fairly simple. The way or the path of the Lord is love. The statutes and commandments are guidelines to keep us on that path of love. In Matthew 22, beginning at verse 37, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So Jesus narrowed the Ten Commandments from ten to two. And the two can be summed up with one word. And that word is love. First Corinthians 13, beginning at verse 1, says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Got to be on the path of love. Obedience without love is ice-cold pharisaical legalism, and it profits nothing. So no wonder the psalmist asked the Lord to keep him on the path of love. Similarly, having love without commandments is uh, no holds barred hedonism. Do you want to know how you're doing concerning the way of love? Look in the mirror of God's word. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. The commandments are a measuring stick of your love of God and love of man. They show us how to demonstrate love to both. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.